Hello everyone, welcome to the infamous gentleman playing Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, with me, the Bard. Me, the Doctor, who has never seen or played this game before. And me, the Sprite, who is so offensively excited about this, I apologise for nothing. The Sprite has got a laptop open with notes on it that are both things they want to talk about and guides for the Bard. She's going to be in a very much kind of like a, a, a tingle role. Tattle. This. I'm tattle. No, I, I prefer to think of you as my Cortana sprite. In yeah, this that works too. Like, the sprite I absolutely Cortana. love yeah. this game. So, like, people in the channel keep asking, what games does the bard actually like? This. I, I love this. What's about to happen, I hope. Well, speaking of, let's load up the first uh, scene. Welcome, everyone. Let's, let's go with... No, I'm going to go with normal. I can do this. Bold. I, I, I love this opening cutscene. There's two very particular reasons why that we'll see. You're being silenced. <sighs> This has got what I can only describe as CD-ROM energy. It yeah. does. In, in a good sort of way, it still looks quite handsome. It's just a bad Assassin's Creed right? I, We'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my god, me. we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> I remember when I was a teenager, this this opening cutscene blew my fucking mind. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. I can see that. <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> the doctor did ask me earlier, so how 15-year-old boy is this game? To which oh, I could only reply, hey. It took nearly a minute until I made that reference. It, it's, a, it's a very 15-year-old boy sort of game, but that doesn't make it any less brilliant. <laughs> yep. Look, look at it, he's wearing eyeshadow! <laughs> Now we're on a ship. We are. So this is a direct sequel to the previous Prince of Persia game, Sands of Time. Which we have not done on this channel. It's also very good. Sir, uh, not appearing in this film. What think, does that mean? I don't think the prince understands how sailing works. <laughs> Bring us closer to the wind. Like, he's good at a couple of things, such as brooding, fighting, yeah. running up walls. Not a great seaman. Perhaps he's meaning, because uh, you, if you're trying to sail into you're the wind, you go in diagonals. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's, he's meaning more, you know, is angled it, that it way for faster or more things. I think that's much coast. Persia, not famous for and being a naval power, I think. That's not huge. But to be fair, like we, we don't know how big the Persian Empire is at this point, or if they have Ooh. an empire. That was a weird. Yeah. Again, there are two reasons. As a teenager, I really adored this trailer, and we're about to see some of them. Oh dear, Bard, you is like it, the offensive is it part. Ass? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that yeah, it's ass. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh no. I don't think we ever. Oh my god. It, it's it's gratuitous. Mass Effect Miranda camera, eat your heart out. <laughs> eat your ass out, boy. Like. Oh, I wish I'd said that. <laughs> Sprite pizza, Mike, already. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry. It is nice there's a strong female villain. It's just a pity that they had to dress her like this. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old female armor. <laughs> Why is she flirting with oh. the sand race? Like, what yeah. the fuck? That's definitely the prince has the weirdest boner. Definitely, that's what that face is. She hasn't. Seen, he hasn't seen her ass though. Yeah, uh, maybe. I think we're just right into this, aren't we? Yes. God, I'm excited. Come on, Bard, <laughs> you got this. Is it me or is my crew not putting up much of a fight at all? <laughs> really, I was like, what am I paying these guys for? They're sailing they, Yeah, I, I imagine most of them are nautical men rather than warriors. The real warrior is within. Oh, can I do the thing? Slicey slice! Yeah! Oh god, I missed this. So, like, the prince is a, a consummate badass in combat. There's... I've just got to remember how he like is. Say, yeah. It doesn't help that the buttons are all just called button one, button six. But hopefully we've set it up like a... 
the weapon. station, so he should be alright. So there he can go. he can dual wield and I can smack them with my secondary weapon. Eventually I learn combos in that regard. Oh wow, Jesus. Just, just, just head just, straight off. Just, just hit just him with an axe and that's the end of that. However, like, I'll show you viewership the prince's most powerful move, which is to jump over someone's head and just cut them in half, which I'll be doing at every available opportunity. But these may be permanently spawning. You want to progress. Well, are they? Do you know that from the notes? Did you look that up? I think I looked it up. Um, it certainly was a thing about shoving them over the edge to keep going. Oh, I've got to... Oh, maybe I've got to just do the... Oh, I've got to fulfill the fight, perhaps. Help me with this. Tutorial. Oh, you've actually got to... Play it's game. Well, here, here we, we go. go. Progress. Noises. My ship is going to die beneath the waves. That uh, was my phone falling into the sofa. Was not that noise for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on Foley for this series by the sounds of this. <laughs> but I do. I do remember that like the starting sword the prince has is actually pretty good, and I'm, I'm not going to have that for much longer. Spoilers. Oh, it's one of those games, is it? Yeah, just enjoy this moment. Okay, what do we need to do to make the um, sail fall? Oh, here there we go. We go. I think it eventually does a cool thing where he slices the sail and slides down it and yes. mysteriously loses all of his abilities. Fun fact, the um, stabbing a piece of fabric and sliding down it Break. came from a U Ubisoft um, forum. It was a fan suggestion. Ah. I remember Mythbusters did an episode on it and turns out... Can you do it? No, absolutely not. Oh. Um, ah. if, in order to actually meaningfully slow your fall down, it will basically break your arm. Oh, that's a shame. Because obviously, if the knife just goes through the canvas, it just goes through the canvas and doesn't really lose much speed. If the knife sticks in the canvas, you either let go of the ab like, you either let go of the knife or your shoulder joint lets go of the rest of your torso. Ah, hydration. Yeah, that's, that's pretty common. The music is not what I expected. I'll it's, be honest. It's sort of like Metallica meets, you know, the Far East, isn't it? Okay, first of all, it's Godsmack, not Metallica. Second of all. There are some fun facts about this particular game and its audio. Oh my god. Oh, let, let rip spray fucking do Okay, it. so... Are you gonna tell me it was like secretly done by like Phil Collins or something weird? Like <laughs> no, <that>? not <laughs> Phil Collins. No, I don't know why Phil Collins, but it's like... Um, okay, desperately searching through notes, not going very well. There's a couple okay. of like soundtracks of games of this era that are weirdly done by like real bands and stuff. This isn't very Phil Collins. I don't know why I said Phil Collins. It's got more of a Judas Priest kind of vibe. I really like the soundtrack, but of course I would. Like, I'm into this kind of music anyway. I really thought you say I really like Phil Collins, because I do too. But we're not going to have that discussion at this point. I, I, I'm lukewarm to Phil Collins. So like, I love the way he just like springs around the place. Whoa! I think my block... Does he kind of roughly target an enemy as he like, looks towards... Kinda. Yeah. Like, I think my block is pretty much impregnable, so I don't know why... I don't just stand here and wait for the, an opening. Maybe stand here and avoid being pregnated. Ow, ow. Impregnable is another one of those ones where the opposite of it sounds unpleasant. If I just think it's pregnable, yeah, it's really grim. I think this chump gets like hit with a big spear in a bit. Oh no, I just I just cut him in half. Jesus. I don't know if we ever learned the. You will never reach our shores alive. Yeah, the, the boobs are a lot more pixelated than they were in the cutscene. Oh yeah. Oh, it's doing its best. Whoa, 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 whoa! Didn't even get a block. chance there. Hang on. Can I... Can I... Can you? I yeah, you can roll away, and you need to block. I, I feel like I can rewind time yet, which is regrettable. All right. Take that. I will not fail the Empress. The Empress? The Empress. The Empress. Yes. Surprise. She's important later. Yes, I do. So she, uh, I figured she, she's important now, I'd argue. Yeah. Because though she's kicking seven shades of shit out of you. No, the Empress is important later. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. th this is not the Empress. No. This oh. is... Oh, she had a terrible nickname, something about the bitch in black. Wow. Oh, yeah. really? Is that actually the, the character's name? No, no. It's, she was a fan... That was a fan name for her. I didn't write it down because I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I don't actually know... But you chose characters. to talk about it anyway. It came up. <laughs> Ooh, oh, the most just, hated. It doesn't feel great, does yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so controversial. She just slapped him and sliced him in the face. Of course, she's he's angry with her. Yeah, but don't use a heavily sexualized term against her. I, I don't know if they're like they're supposed to be like sexual undertones. To I this. really, I, I was about to take the piss and say, what is it like? Is this the kind of game where the prince is going to kick her in the face and call her a slut? But actually, that wasn't a thousand miles away from what so, we saw. So, are different. Words. I mean, yes, but it, it had that kind of energy. 
bitch and slut are different words. Well done. And she did the slicing in the face. I, th- there's something to be said about that. I mean, to be fair, if anyone, regardless of gender, was to slice me in the face, I don't think I'd be thrilled about it. Yeah. Oh, power struggle! Ah, uh, yes. One of those. Get that. However, I agree. He should have said, you fucking arsehole. <laughs> You! I'm not going to say that. Now, like, it. there's a weird thing that she does, like, again, suggesting this is meant to be more sexualized than perhaps. Because, like, if I if I keep away from her a bit, she'll taunt me by smacking her arse with her sword. Does she? Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she does it later, but she definitely does it. Uh, I don't the camera will accommodate. Hang on, where is she? I think she just did it with yeah. the camera. Anyway, like... Also, it looks like you're doing some hilarious, like, dance. I, 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 yes, like, yes. About... I digress, but I think I'm about to... Ah! Oh, I did not lose! The Empress overestimated your ability. The Empress. Oh, and that's the end of my sick sword. And the Prince kind of gets his ass kicked. Oh, yeah, yeah that was some shades of shit, yeah. So, I found... Oh. Why is my sword in the water? It was clearly stuck in the mast. The place from which the Maharaja stole the hourglass. And what if I could reach this island? Ooh, that was interesting. They say the Maharaja found portals there where one could pass backwards through time. Back through time to the birthplace of the Sands. Something terrible happened when our army traveled to the Maharaja's palace. You found the Sands of Time. Is this the event of the first game? Yes. Yep. Worse. I open them. We'll talk about it in a sec. Yeah, no, I'll just check you. Whosoever shall open the sands must die. I was forced to kill those I fought beside. Those I had loved. But now an unstoppable beast chases you. For the first time in my life, I am afraid. And you will die. I used the sands themselves to reverse time, making it as if the hourglass was never opened. The beast, the Dahaka, is the guardian of the timeline. You were supposed to die, so it will catch you and see to it that you meet so your... Plot of Loki. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it kind of is actually, it's like a, a similar dark-haired, evo-y protagonist <laughs> as well. <laughs> I actually quite like the prince as a protagonist. Like he's deeply flawed, which you know we'll talk about as we go on. But he, he looks very much like the front man of a mid noughties evil band. From ever being made. He does. If there are no sands, the Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. You can't just keep on doing time until. But know this: your journey will not end well. You cannot change your fate. No man. That used to give me chills when I was a kid. You cannot change your fate. Can't fault the prince's logic. Uh, I went back in time and made it so I never <coughs> opened the sands. Well, now there's things after you. Well, I'll go even further back in time and make sure that didn't happen. Yeah. It's like the, I know you are, but what am I of time-traveling timeline cor- correction? To, to be fair, even he admits, like, it's better to try than to wait here for death. So he's not even particularly hopeful. No. Um, it is interesting you think he looks like a... Um, uh, 90s or noughties band member because Ubisoft literally said they wanted a quote harder sound for this game they recruited a Canadian God. rock person I'm not going to say rock star because he's in a rock band but he also focused on a lot of um, weird music um, called Stuart Chatwood and someone called Ananzur um, an orchestral composer for media he eventually became list, like one of the A-listers for orchestral composing for all kinds of media, um, uh, TV, movie, and game. Um, and two of the songs were from Godsmack, not Metallica. I think you'll find yeah, I vast said, improvement. She will pay. Oh, that, wait, have you heard of them outside of this game? Are they real? Yes. Oh. I love Godsmack. Good knowledge. You've friend. heard Godsmack. Have I? Yes. They're in my playlist. Okay. Good knowledge, Sprite. Excellent research. I so, w- like- I've been digging in. But he, he like so it's quite deliberate. Like they actually do want the prince to look like a like a metal star or like the front man of a rock band. Well, it's certainly it's all involved in what they went for. They've changed the voice actor because they wanted the prince to be grown up. They wanted oh, to humanize they? him. Oh, and I they, like the voice actor from Sands of Time. But um, the Sands, the voice actor from Sands of Time, whose name is also here, uh, Yuri L- Lowenthal. Oh uh, yeah, that's a real voice actor. 
Well, like he's he, in a ton of stuff. he literally on an interview said, actually, it was right that they got someone else for it. I'm not the right voice for the type of character oh, they wanted the prince to be. What a very, like, conscientious man to, like, admit that, like, he had limitations. More, what? he didn't like the direction they took it in, would be the guess. Because a lot of people didn't. Okay, jump. Oh, just making it. Ah, we've got to do manual saves, which we definitely ought to do. Yes, definitely. Just slurping that water down. Thirsty, thirsty boy. So for those who are, like, unfamiliar with the events of the first game, so the prince unleashes the sands of time that turns everyone into a horrible sand monster. And then with a princess called Farah, he's got to go around the palace that he's destroyed, fixing the sands of time, and he uses the sands to reverse time to a point before he unleashed them. But regrettably, in so doing, the love affair that he started with the Princess Farah is also erased from time because he rewinds uh, it to a point before they meet. And yet he's still not gone far enough back to not piss off the Dahaka. Yes, precisely. But that's because he fannied about with time. You can't be doing that. Uh, you can't yeah. be. But H- it, hence his solution seems like it's not going to be good. <laughs> it is a great shame, though, because like, like, there's really genuinely good chemistry between the Prince and Farah in the first game. Like some, yeah. people, some people have described it as like the greatest video game love story. I'm not sure I would agree, but it is good. It's excellent, yes. No Shepard and Garrus. <laughs> okay, no. yes, it's no Shepard and Garrus, but that's sometimes a good thing. I, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to romance Garrus. Oh. <laughs> not, not that Garrus isn't great, but he's my, he's my bro. That's, that's too much of a friendship. Uh, nah. Sounds like someone didn't have the reach or the flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> did, and you did. Apparently, yes, yes. Yes, the Doctor did, and it was great. See, <laughs> let's play Mass Effect Two with the Doctor, and let's play Mass Effect Three with the Doctor. Also on this channel. However, at the end of the Sands of Time, Farah gives the prince her amulet, which if we zoom in far enough, on his, see on his chest. Oh, he glowed in the opening cutscene. Yes. yes. It allows him to do various things with time, such as reverse it. So, like, instead of lives, the prince can... Yeah. Ow. I've got to beat these guys with this plank of wood. It's a plank of wood with a nail in it. Oh, has, wow. it got, has it got a nail in it? It's got a nail in it. It's like a WWE weapon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Give him the chair! <laughs> Give him the chair! Out of nowhere comes... Does he have a name, the prince? Or is he just the prince? Uh, he's just the prince. I, I was going to say Altair, but that's... that's I don't know that he's named in the games. Like, um, I think in the film they call him Dastan, which maybe is his canonical name, but I don't think he's ever named in the the games. Maybe the sprite can like correct me. She has so many notes viewership, it's, it's uncanny. Uh, it's only uncanny because I'm not usually a notes person. I'm a wing it and... You know, fly it by ear. But no, I, I don't have notes on that, I'll be honest. I love, this is my, my, my favourite feature of any Prince of Persia game. I love it. Wall running! Oh, that. Yeah. It's so Brad. Brad? But, yeah, you did say it's so the, Brad. Was this before the advent of, like... Is that Jake Gyllenhaul in the film? Yes. Yes, oh, it, no. And yes, Ben fucking Kingsley. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Not even Ben Kingsley could save that movie. Excuse me, that you, film is you perfectly like, acceptable. Fuck, you like Nickelback, fuck off. I like Nickelback. <laughs> oh my god, I'm surrounded. <laughs> have, have you seen the game we're playing? Of course we, of course we like Nickelback. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus Christ. It takes so long to beat them to death with this plank of wood with a nail in it. If only you were about to get a sword. I am getting it. I think it's take one of your crappy swords. I quite like it. It looks like a, it's got a almost like a sword axe. We'll Alf- talk about it. When it comes Alfred out. Molina. Wait, wait. Alfred Molina is the Prince of yeah. Persia. Yes, he is. Who is he? He's Sheikh Amar. He's the trades person who chases oh, is, the. Is he the uh, ostrich guy? Yeah. Yeah, there's ostrich racing at one point. Yes. Wow. Which but, is a low point, I'll be honest. Yeah. I mean, like, Jake Jillen Hall's a relatively Question. okay movie Question. For star. years, it held the record of being the highest grossing video game film adaptation until it was beaten by what? In oh. 2016. What game adaptation was... Oh, it Silent wasn't... Hill! Nope. It wasn't oh. Assassin's Creed either, because that's apparently shit. Interesting. I, I don't know, Doctor. What Bafflingly, was... the Warcraft film. Oh! I, mean, I think it did quite well in the box office. Yeah, it, and it's okay! Have you seen it? No, I don't. I don't know, know that it was directed by David Bowie's son. Yeah, Zowie Bowie. I think it was by Duncan oh, Jones. Duncan Jones. Yeah, you can see why he didn't want to go for <laughs> Zowie Bowie. <laughs> Wild. We'd face our opponents. And yeah, it's a surprisingly good film. Oh, she's back. We offer them a sword. Oh, where did the blood come from? There was no blood. That was dust. Oh, was it? Okay. <laughs> I was quite like Shadid, just being like, Shut up. Up. I always like that cuts that little bit where he just flips and 
I feel like the sword he's holding would not have been good for stabbing like that. No, it would not. It's it's, it's basically a pickaxe, and he's stabbing with the, the top of the head. No, it's got a flat round the, the, the oh, little, Okay, the oh, yeah, he does yeah. here where he's just like, oh, it's so cool. Come at me, bro. You got the spider, the spider sword. sword. Common on the island. It's it's pretty pants, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's better than a fucking it, piece it, of wood with a nail in it, mate. Yeah, <laughs> it's better than, like, the Undertaker's weapon of choice. <laughs> <laughs> Dead man, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I love you. <laughs> the Undertaker is absurdly tall. He's like six seven. Or yeah, I saw a photo of him with normal humans recently. Oh yes, 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 yes. Slicey slice. Good lord. I'm not doing particularly well with combat viewership. I will get, I'll get my mojo back with it, much the same way as I did with the recent Arkham games. Which, as ever, if you haven't seen, you should watch. Look at that plug. Look at that. What a professional and he remember, is. remember, like, share, subscribe. If you... <laughs> tell us in the comments if you like Nickelback. <laughs> Please do. Please do, and then stop watching and commenting on any of that stuff. We don't need your That is on not channel. true. The rest of us love it. I think they're, I think they're fine. They're just I've, like, I've seen Nickelback live. So have I, actually. <laughs> Am I the only one who hasn't? Yeah, you, I, right. For what they are, they were a pretty good live act. They did a thing where, like, the drummer just did, like, a ten-minute drum solo during which the platform that was on raised up and spun around and, like, flamethrowed oh, and shot out of it. Sword. It was pretty fucking rad. I was a 15-year-old boy at the time. We may, we may have seen okay, you, you on have, the same you tour. Have to, yeah. yeah, possibly. It was when we were about 15. Me and the boy went. Oh, excellent. I th I'm pretty certain we were on the same tour, because I distinctly remember there being a similar drum solo when I saw them. Ah, it was a, I, I had a well-meaning uncle who knew very little about me and decided an acceptable birthday present for me was a 30 pound Ticketmaster voucher. I do not like live gigs or events or anything like that, but I went anyway. This tells you the economy at the time because a 30 quid Ticketmaster voucher got two tickets to see Nickelback. Worth you it. would, Worth you would barely get one out of a 30 quid voucher nowadays. No, you would not get one ticket to see no. Nickelback. Oh yeah, you nowadays. looked into this because you were going to ironically buy my dad tickets for Nickelback for Christmas. He shouldn't have played a game called No, I Really Like Nickelback. Sorry, I was trying to do something. No, like, uh, something just to point out, so eventually we're going to travel backwards and forwards in time through the aforementioned portals that the Spoilers. old Spoilers! Oh, is that a portal told. hole? No, this is eventually going to be a trap, so obviously we're in the present where, like, the island is ruined and it's inactive, but later these traps will be very much trying to trap and kill yeah, them. that's quite cool. Yes, yeah, it is rather. Bar, Bard, there's no need for spoilers. Question. Do they say the phrase warrior within in this game at all? I don't think so. I don't oh, think so. Boo. It's, it's a very strange subtitle. Oh, we're gonna fit one of the, the badass Raven guys. They just, they just said the name of the thing is one of my favorite things in games. Check out this motherfucker. Look at him. Oh my god. He's like the cover of a metal album. He's ridiculous. Right. Take. Ah. Right. I don't think I can actually kill him here. We'll, we'll yes, you can. Well, no, you, you slice oh, him. No, no. Oh, be careful. Watch ah, the yeah. edge. I know, I know. Come on, buddy. Was this the guy you got stuck on in your ill fated Let's Play of this? Yes. Right. It was just the rehearsal. I. I blame the controller. Or oh, yeah. possible skill levels. Goddamn tools. Yeah, skill may have been Yeah, a the sprite was going to do this as her own project at some point, but then realised she needed to get good in order for that to work. Oh dear. And oh, instead of getting good, hired someone who is already good at this game. Well, like, that remains to be seen. I haven't died yet. Although, like, I, I should probably demonstrate this viewership. So, like, uh, observe the, the yawning chasm. If, if the prince decides that he has, in fact, had enough of life, or, like, he's, it's not worth chasing after the woman with not very many clothes. Goodbye, cruel world! Oh. How do I... <laughs> wow. Okay. You have to wait for time to run out, even though you can't rewind it yet. That's unfortunate. So, like, what should be able to happen is that I can rewind time, but, like, the game hasn't taught me how to do that yet. I remember so, that, I remember uh, that the, was a... That did not demonstrate the point I tried I, to make. I remember a TV <laughs> advert for this game, or it might have been... Uh, the Two Blokes, or whatever the, the sequel was called. Um, uh, two, two, thrones. two Thrones. That was it. Two Thrones. Close, close enough. Um, I remember there being quite a cool TV advert about rewinding time. It's pretty awesome, actually, when I eventually get to do it, which uh, evidently I cannot yet. I've got a spear axe thing now. Let's go. Well, as I was explaining to the doctor, uh, when he asked, is this game uh, a 15 year old boy game, I explained to him that young teenage. Sprite, who hadn't had a games console in four or five years, you saw were... this advertised on a bus and decided she was going to buy a PlayStation to play it. You weren't teenage when this came out. This came out in 2004. Betraying the Sprite's age, Doctor, that's not fair. Oh no, you were just I a teenager. I was a teenager. 
Yeah, but sorry, you were talking about 15 year old boy, and you were definitely not 15 year old Nora boy at that point. I'd have to answer either of those questions. I have more important matters You're an adult. And this game came out. Come on, come on, chump. I was still hit me and hit a me. fucking teenager, mate. What's that from? Uh, oh, the Matrix. oh, get back up! Oh no, I think, I think we might be humped here. Oh no, we're good. <laughs> Scoot away. Yeah, it's the fight between Morpheus and Neo. That would be in the first Matrix. Film. I really should have known that. Yeah, I know, you really should have done. Yeah, I you, just have love how the you have to jump looks, over him. Like, it just looks really cinematic and, like, even just my little moves where I flip away and block, it just looks great. So, fun fact about that. That actually comes from the original Prince of Persia game where they used something called rotoscoping. Oh, so they filmed it and animated over the film? Yeah. Did they really? Specifically animated over a live actor. Rotoscoping is, is most famously used in the incredibly disturbing Lord of the Rings cartoon, where mm. they shot load of the footage and animated over it, and it's awful. We've talked about it. We so have. Like, but the original Prince of Persia um, makes game was the games, made yeah. in 19... Well, okay, it started being made in 1986, yeah. but actually it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. actually made then. Oh, yeah, because there was... I always forget this. Yeah, like the SNES one. Yeah. An earlier Prince of Persia game. Yeah, 2D was, platformer. Yeah, just the Prince of Persia, and then there is... Time I guess it, I guess in a sense, oh. rotoscoping is kind of like a very early uh, motion mo capture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's getting at that same concept right. of like, how do we? Oh. I keep this. Like <laughs> he lands on his face every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny right. to me. There, there you go. go. For a man who can reverse time, he's sure making a twat of himself. Well, I don't think I can reverse time. Not yet. yet. Fun fact: In this game, the attack animations drew inspiration from fight scenes in Jackie Chan films. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I can think of nothing which is totally more distinct from this game <laughs> than Jackie Chan films. Um, it also included um, fight sequences that we were using. Um, oh, what's that fancy sorting thing that's with the bendy little swords that the boy broke the collarbone on? Fencing. So they included fencing. So, like, is there any rotoscope or mocap in this? Like, did they get a, st a trained stuntman to jump over people repeatedly and, like, captured his likeness? Most of what they do here is impossible, so actually I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't find anything on it. Well, you mean, like, a man cannot leap over his enemies, sword in hand, and cut them in half and behind? And use sand to go back in time. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. But the original Prince of Persia games, that was a big thing that they focused on. They were puzzles. Uh, the original one actually had no intention of having any fight sequences whatsoever until a reviewer said, "Where is it?" Um, You've done so much research. Oh, friend. I have. It's very impressive. Okay, I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Um, Tommy Pierce described it as all survival and no triumph. So they added in some fight fight sequences, which included the fencing. Um, I love the phrase "a straight puzzle platformer." So this is the original. Prince of Persia back in, uh, so it was released in 87, 88? Oh no, um, it was started in 86, but it was released in 89, just as the uh, Macintosh was dying off. Back over. Yeah, you yeah. have to do round and back and shit. I remember some of these puzzles oh, being absolutely yeah. devilish. Yes. So like, I, I, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to actually complete this viewership. I'm gonna do my very best for you. Oh, don't worry, you've got tattle in, in your ear in case you need it. That's true. I do also have, yeah, the walkthrough, which I'd rather not use because oh, it's can I, can I do painful. The... Oh, I'm having a Aww. great, I'm having a great time on the Wikipedia article of the guy who voices the prince. What else has been there? Fuck ton of stuff. Um, I know him, and I just he's the, he's the prophet of regret, not prophet of truth. What? In Halo, in Halo Two, Is the one really? who you kill in Halo Two. Um, he is. He basically does a lot of like devil and demon voices in films and stuff, which is brilliant. Oh. Um, he was in Prometheus as ship computer voices. Oh, let me see that my burst off the wall. And then he, he I did saw it. demon voices in The Conjuring. He did the voice and the motion capture of Doomsday in Batman vs. Superman. What, Dawn of Justice? Yeah. Did he really? <laughs> my, my respect for him is growing by, I mean, not a great movie, but yeah. like, obviously, like, he's a working actor, he's got to take what he can get. But, damn. That, yeah. Oh, what's even cooler here is when he dies, I can take his rad sword. It's my secondary weapon. Yes. Hiya! But I felt like I recognized his voice in Halo 2. And just picture him going, I will light this holy ring, release its cleansing fire, and propel us into the divine beyond. Lord Again, look, he, just because he plays such a youthful, athletic character in this game, like, that's the very opposite of what Yeah, old ball bank is. chin, yeah. No, he's Prophet of Regret, not Truth. Oh, my, my apologies. Prophet of Truth is your man from The Crow, the villain in The Crow. Oh. With the incredible, you know the Iron Man, right? What's his name? Oh, here we go. The villain from the Crow with a really distinctive oh. voice. Oh yes, him. Oh. Yeah. Stop the intruder! Oh no, you died. Oh, was oh. this a stealth section? No, no. I, I just messed up the jump. 
That's going to happen a few times as well. <laughs> Are we sure that I can't rewind time? Not yet. This better not take me back to that fountain. Yeah, there's a very real chance it takes you back to that fountain. Oh my days. If it does, we'll cut this. Come on, don't take me back. Yeah! This game <laughs> understands checkpoints appropriately. 